Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. Hope you're very well. I posted something earlier on today. It was a picture I found on my phone of what the boat was like. I just took it um, 37 days ago. Um, so this is it. It's just kind of a little bit shocking to see kind of what it looked like. Uh, kind of re really, yeah, kind of only so recently. Um, this week, hopefully, it's going to take on a bit more change internally. At the moment, it's all pretty empty i'm hoping by the end of the week there's going to be a bit more fixes and fittings in place at the moment as you know from the last video i'm installing the water system so i've gone and bought a few extra bits and pieces um obviously that was the dry run so i've got myself some ptfe tape for the screw threads and something i've i'm debating about is foregoing the pump guard the way i look at it is um if you look at this thing it is literally a strainer um the water passes through a strainer and that's if it always all passes through it maybe not all of it does um but some of the water passes through a mesh that's it but in doing so it provides two extra opportunities for leaks and also unlike all the other fittings these ones are just kind of tapered half inch uh, outlets or an inlet and an outlet and my problem is is that you can't well I don't know I haven't found the right type of fitting which is really secure all the other ones are really good this one is going to be a hose with a jubilee clip around it which I, I I'm thinking of foregoing that um and it creates a bit of space it's less pipe work and I just don't think it's going to do much that's the reality of it I might as well pour the hose through a mesh anyway if I, if I end up filling a tank and there's like loads of crap in there, then yeah, I'll think about it. But I can't imagine there's gonna be. I'm gonna get a drinking water grade hose. So I think it's gonna be all right. And it comes from the main. So this week is now about finishing the water install. So I've got to run it to the bathroom. Might put the shower in or the shower tray in this week, but to start to kind of get the bathroom a bit more in shape. Pipes coming down to the galley um, to I mean, I haven't got the galley set up at all yet. That's one thing I'd like to try to tackle this week as well, as, as not getting it all in. I'm not going to have a fridge. I'm not going to have an oven. Not yet. I'm going to have um, hobs, which um, my parents generously have given me an early Christmas present. So I'll be picking them up this week, my new hobs. So I might as well go about starting to fit the kitchen. It's a 50 by 50. And unless anyone posts a place where you know somewhere that is easy to get to, or deliver quite easily, but just do really cheap, really cheap kitchen carcasses, which are 50 centimetres deep and 50 wide, then please let me know. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna to have to make them myself. The only ones I have found like that are kind of specialist ones and they're all quite expensive. You can get 50 deep ones, but um, you can't get the height. That's the problem. You can't get 90 high and 50 deep because the 50 deep tend to be the wall mounted ones and wall mounted ones tend not to be 90. So I'm struggling to find the right one basically so i might have to make that myself um so that would be a bit of a i'd rather not i'd rather just buy some carcasses i might buy um i might have to buy something and trim it down we'll have to see the other really important thing so so the, the hobs going back to that that means gas i've got to get my gas locker sorted out tomorrow and i've got to get some gas safe engineer to come around and sort all that stuff out or at least partly and also electrics. So I need to uh, bite the bullet and sort out all my electrics. That is solar panels, batteries, all the bits and pieces. I might go for a very small inverter, um, but yeah, all the all the paraphernalia to do with electrics have, has all kind of got to be started and pretty much going in. I'd like to get the electrics in this week. Um, it's not hugely complicated once you kind of get your head around it. I'll be doing obviously a specific video just on the batteries and the solar and everything like that. But I think I've kind of, I'm 90% there in terms of kind of mentally. Um, and then engine work, I'm hoping this week, fingers crossed, uh, that there is a leap forward in, in terms of the back of the boat. Ideally, the hole will no longer be a hole, or it will be a hole with a really nice new stern gland in the middle of it and a new prepare, uh, prop shaft and everything like that. So that's what I am, oh, fingers crossed, hoping for that, because then there's no stopping me going in the water. I'd like to get in the water 
and work out the balance of this boat and work out if it lists where it's where it needs some changing um I, before the galley goes in i'm gonna have to make the floor lockers as well that's something else to tackle um i'm not going to make them up fully i'm just going to make them for access at the moment so i will be doing them fully but that'll be at another time most likely on the cut and then really there's no stopping me making my bed frame and the stuff around the water tank there's a bit of welding that needs to be done on the water tank and i think that's probably going to be done on tuesday so i can go about kind of then setting up the bedroom at least then i can keep my bed as a static and i don't have to keep moving around the boat that'd be that'd be quite a nice move forward um I can't really build a dinette because then I've got nowhere to work. So I'm going to have to keep certain things going. But all of that stuff there on the on my temporary galley can just turn into my galley. So that'll be fine. But my workbench, I don't really want to have to do that on the dinette. So that I'll have to come to that. But anyway, that's, 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 that's a long time wait. At the moment, it's about electrics and water and gas. That is, that's literally it. So I'm going to carry on with the plumbing. My next step is to... I've got to do a bit of cutting away to make sure I can get my pipe work underneath the floor into the bathroom. And then I'm going to have to start laying the pipes down the uh, port side of the boat. Right, so what I'm doing is just laying the pipe work to go to the bathroom. I'm obviously going to feed it from the bathroom, so I'm going to be trimming it around there. So I'll put all the excess in. Now the pipes won't be under any kind of strain. Because there isn't there isn't much room to be playing with down here. But there's enough way to get two pipes in. Good. And kick the off cut back in. Okay, so before I lay any of the pipe work, I need to be attaching these guys, which are just little cl pipe clips. You can fit two of these on, you can buy them in twos, fours, singles. Um, I've just gone for two. There'll be parts of the boat where there's four pipes running, there's parts where there's two, parts where there's one. This part is where there's only one, but you're not gonna see this. Uh, so I'm just putting this in with 25 mil spack screws doesn't really matter where it goes but i want the first one to be on a fix here because there's nothing before that i'm just using my adjustable square to make sure i get not really to make it square because it's quite straightforward but it's really to make sure that i get the height the same and consistent obviously there's going to be a join here so really i'm going to want this supported on both sides is what i'm thinking so i'm going to put one in on this side here and then one on the top. Okay, so now I can run the cold pipe down here to a T here and then run the cold back down to the galley and then the hot from the galley, theoretically, once I've got a way of heating it, the hot from the galley on an elbow into the bathroom and then a T in the bathroom for it to go to the shower or the sink. So here I'm going to attach a T. So obviously I've got a tube support to go in the end. I went out and bought a bag of 50 tube supports today. Let's see, that is something you go through quite a lot of. 
And that's, I'll put that one in first, that's the less easy to move. Until it clicks. Tighten that up. I did toy with the idea of having the T underneath, because I'm also going to have an elbow over here as well. So it's, I thought if it's going to become a little congested or something, but or whether there's enough flex to get it done right. So I guess I'm going to work that out now. It might be that some of that needs to be changed. Well, that may need to be changed. So what I think I'm going to do is just make sure there's plenty of slack. So if I need to change this a bit, I've got slack in the bathroom, I've got slack in the bow, I can just shimmy it down a little bit and uh, do that, because no doubt I'm going to get a load of comments that said, oh no, you should have put an elbow in there and done it like this, in which case I can take it apart and make use of those comments. So I think I'm, I'm okay, I'm just going to get it set up and then I can move on to something else. A new one of them in. Put the elbow on. Yeah, that'll work. Spacious that way. All right, so I'll get some more pipe and lay it down there. So I'm going to run this pipe work behind the stove. Obviously, it's going to be kind of protected by the hearth as well as the board behind it. I've left a bit of gap because one day I'll have my central plumbing, my central heating pipes running down below here as well, so they, they can run underneath this. So let's put that in place. And obviously I'm really supporting it around the fireplace. Right. Just trim off any excess. So there we have it, the hot and cold water from the galley. Obviously I've got some excess kind of gathered within the galley, but the hot and cold run down here, all the way to the bathroom, and the hot elbows off into the bathroom and the cold tees off into the bathroom and then it carries on down to the back of the tank. So that's it really for the time being. There's not much else I can do on this, which is great. It means I can actually move on to something else um, and I've kind of exhausted this for the time being. So it's now the kind of the bathroom and the galley. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been useful. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.